to it. Police say they've arrested the man you see in this video right here, punching Louisville's mayor. He was in court this morning. W. Derby's Lexi Ratterman shares why the judge decided to keep him in jail. Lexi. Chris Valerie this morning in court, the public defender asked for Antoine Brown to be released from here in jail, but the judge says the accusations against him are too serious. Here's why he's actually in jail. This video shows a man who police say is Brown walking up to Mayor Greg Fisher on the right side of the screen and punching him unprovoked. Fisher falls backward. He ended up being OK, but the suspect took off. Police released these photos looking for Brown. They were able to find him using security images seen here matching security video of Brown walking into his own apartment that night with the same outfit on. He faces a misdemeanor fourth degree assault charge and his bond was originally set at $25,000. The public defender and county argued against that bond and for it this morning. At the end of the day, this is a misdemeanor assault. He did walk away uh, allegedly after the, uh, after the alleged assault. And so the, that bond should be commiserate with, with the nature of the charge. There is a documented history of some violence, and uh, this bond is appropriate. Brown's previous criminal history mentioned in, uh, mentioned there included two assault fourth degree charges in the last several years. Both of those were amended down to harassment charges against the public defender's request. The judge did not let Brown out of jail, but lowered the bond to $5,000 full cash. Now, if the bond is posted, the judge did order Brown to be on house arrest, and he is not to have any contact with Mayor Greg Fisher. Reporting live, Lexi Bradderman, WDRB News.